hello, welcome back to my channel. We are seven days away from our next Disney trip. We actually leave one week from today. So these trips always sneak up on me because I'm so focused on like getting the content out from my last trip. <laughs> that when our next trip comes, I'm like, oh, we're one week away. I need to start getting ready to travel again. <laughs> so I need to run a few errands today. I'm gonna go to the gym first and I do need to get some Disney gift cards and I'll explain what I do for Disney gift cards and how I pay for our trip and how I use fuel points and the whole thing. So I'll, I'll share more later on, but I'm gonna take you along over the next few days as I prep for this next Disney trip for me and Ellie and and I'm excited. So let's head to the gym and then we'll keep this day going. Are you excited to go to Disney again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> also, I've been really big on pre-workout before going to the gym and I discovered these little mini cans of Alani. This is the cherry slush energy drink and it's like the perfect amount of caffeine before a workout. So this has kind of been my go-to instead of pre-workout lately. workout today was back and biceps it was a pull day and my arms just feel like noodles right now for the past two years I've been following an app called Sadie active and it has been life-changing I mean to go from these little cardio YouTube workouts to like serious weightlifting and building muscle and like getting lean has just been it's been incredible so if you have been curious about like dipping your toe in the world of weightlifting and wanting to shift from these little like cardio youtube things or like i used to do beach body and you know and those workouts are just fine like they're great but if you've been curious about weightlifting this is a great place to start because two years ago I made the workouts very beginner friendly and I've made it more challenging as the months have gone on and I love it. Like I'm hooked, I'm here at the gym four to five days a week, I love it. So moving on with the day, we are gonna head over to Target. There's a few things I need to pick up for our trip there and I'm sure I'll think of more things. <laughs> Like, I feel a little overwhelmed right now, and I always do this to myself where my to-do list is just, feels so scattered right now. I just need to sit down and like really think through <laughs> what I need to do. So we're gonna start with Target though. And for anyone curious, the childcare at the gym that I go to is incredible. So that's where Ellie <laughs> goes while I work out. Disney Target <laughs> little girl clothes, but a lot of this I've seen for a few months now, and I don't know, I'm just not loving anything here right now. Like this, I feel like has been, I feel like this was here in last year, but a lot of these little sets have been here for a few months, and there's a lot of Barbie stuff, no, I'm just not loving it. There's not, not a ton going on here. Now, baby stuff. Like, this is cute, but of course, you know, it's not toddler size. But this little dress, like, how cute. So fun for 4th of July. Some little boy stuff. This little set with Piglet and Eeyore. That's cute but not a ton of toddler options right now. And the dollar section at Target is usually the place to find really great travel activities and 
I don't know, I'm just not seeing a ton of like travel friendly things. We've got bath paint, these little puzzles, which I'm like, uh, I'm not sure I wanna take that on an airplane with us. Uh, Play-Doh, like we're gonna get Play-Doh. There's lots of these little coloring, like mess-free coloring books, but Ellie's kind of over these. I don't know, We've I think we've done them so many times that she's like, nah, it's just like she's losing interest in them. Same thing with these little play packs. Like these are great and she loved them when we first started getting them. And now I give her this and she's like, nah, she loses interest in like 30 seconds. So I think I'm gonna skip that this time. What did you find? <laughs> I don't know, this little like pop it turtle. We did just get something like that. Remember your little unicorn? Yeah, why don't we leave that one here, okay? We are home. I'm gonna do a quick little Target haul. It's seriously like the smallest Target haul ever, but it still might be interesting. First thing, I found these glow wands in the party section. So these will be really fun to pull out during fireworks or just when it gets dark. Ellie knows anytime it gets dark, she's like, mommy, can I have a glue stick? She calls them glue sticks. Next, I got a couple of these Alani like gummy candies. I don't know, I've been seeing people talk about them. They look interesting. So we're gonna try it. And then every trip, I always let Ellie pick out some kind of treat for our trip. So she wanted these bluey gummies. So that's what we're doing for this trip. Also grabbed this little basic purple tank for Ellie. You can never have too many basics for your kids. Next, I picked up some disposable razors. I really prefer using disposable razors as compared to bringing my really nice one from home. It's just one less thing to take home with you. And at the end of the week when I'm done, I can just toss it and I don't have to bring back like some sticky, I don't know how the tops can get like gooey. I don't know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm not having to put back the cap on top of like some gooey razor that I've used for a few days. I can just toss it and we're good. Okay. The last couple of things, I got Ellie another little baby shampoo. These are great for travel. And the last thing, I picked up a new SteriPod toothbrush protector. I desperately needed a new one. My last one went to Mexico with us just a couple of weeks ago, and I got food poisoning on that trip. <laughs> so we needed to toss everything out and just start fresh. So new toothbrush, new toothbrush cover, you know, just we're starting fresh. So. That is my mini Target haul. I really didn't need a ton, but that's everything. Ellie is in her room for quiet time and I was able to sit down and type out a to-do list. This helps me so much. Having a visual of everything I need to get done really helps me stay on task. So I know I mentioned earlier, the first thing on my list here is to purchase Disney gift cards. So what I do, I make sure to go ahead and just pay off my resort before we even get there. That way nothing is ever actually charged to my magic band, to the credit card that I have on file. Everything is fully paid for before we even get to Disney. I go ahead, pay off our resort with Disney gift cards. I buy Disney gift cards to pay for our dining, any merch that we're gonna purchase. Literally anything that I'm gonna spend money on at Disney is already paid for in gift cards before the trip. So what I do to get the most bang for my buck is, and I'm gonna wait and show this on Friday because at Kroger, you get four times the fuel points on Fridays on gift cards. And I basically will end up getting about two free tanks of gas. I think the last time Andy and I went together, we took both of our cars and we filled up both of our tanks back to back. You get 35 gallons of gas that you can use your points on. And I think my total for how much we spent on two tanks of gas, and we were both on like, as empty as you can possibly get kind of tank of gas, we paid about $8. And I would say because we do premium gas, it takes about 60 to $75 to fill up a tank of gas. So let's just say both tanks of gas would have cost us $70. That's $140 that we saved on gas because I purchased my gift cards at Kroger. 
So way better than the 5% that you would get back anywhere else or any other gift card deal that I've ever done the math for. So far using Kroger Fuel Points and getting four times the points on Fridays, that has been the best deal for us at least. So I'm gonna wait and buy those gift cards on Friday. I gotta squeeze that in because I'm also getting new tires on my car on Friday. So that's kind of a time consuming thing on Friday morning. So. I don't know. I'm going to make it happen though, because I've got to get the gift cards on Friday. I also need to schedule and kind of piece together my grocery order. This one is going to be a little bit different because our first three nights we're staying club level. And obviously we don't need quite as many grocery and snack items and drinks in our room because we have access to that in the concierge lounge at the resort. But our last two nights we're not staying club level. So I don't know, I gotta figure out what do we need, what do we not need for groceries and place that order. I need to prep my outfits, what I'm gonna pack, kind of go through day by day and figure out like based on each park that we're going to. And you know, same thing for Ellie. Uh, next week I need to check in to my flight. I just go ahead and put that on my to-do list as well. I also need to get cash to tip our private transportation that takes us from the airport to and from our resort. So that is everything on my to-do list right now. It's actually not as overwhelming as I think I was feeling earlier. <laughs> I think we're good for everything else though. Like, I think I'm good. I'm gonna go through my itinerary and start piecing together what outfits I wanna wear on each day. Same thing for my daughter. And I will check back in tomorrow. All right, we're six days away and Ellie's at preschool today. I went to the gym this morning, kind of did our normal morning routine and got home and I have been running around the house like a crazy person trying to do as much as I possibly can while Ellie is at preschool and really take advantage of this time before I have to go pick her up in just a couple of hours. So what I've done is I pulled out our suitcases, kind of trying to figure out how do I want to pack? Do I want to do carry on, checked bag and kind of determine what do we need and then go from there and see what I can fit into what bags and it's kind of a puzzle a little bit. I've also planned out our outfits. So I have all of our outfits laid out up here and I like laying everything out like this and I'll show you because it really gives me a visual of how many outfits, what outfits I have. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. I also need to charge all of our devices and make sure that our fans are fully charged, that my daughter's tablet is charged for the plane ride, make sure all of her shows are downloaded and you know everything's updated on her tablet. And my portable phone charger is charged. Mm, I think that's it, but I need to go ahead and make sure all those things are plugged in and charging. That way all of those things are ready to go on day one and I'm not having to worry about like, oh man, I forgot to charge the fan and you know, we're headed out on our first park day and I didn't charge anything, you know? So I wanna make sure that all of that is good to go and then I'll be able to start working off of my packing list and kind of go from there. So let me show you what I've laid out behind me and I'll show you our outfits and what's in my suitcase right now. <laughs> because we're going the first week of June, it is going to be hot, like highs of 94, 95. So I've decided to ditch like coordinating park day outfits and I am going with what's comfortable, breathable, what is going to be the most ideal outfit in 95 degree weather. So a lot of athletic dresses. I have this athletic tank and an athletic skirt, this little matching set, athletic skirt and tank some tank tops, this really breathable pair of shorts, some other extra tank tops and denim shorts just in case we wanna hang out at the resort and just get dinner or something, like keeping it so easy. So this is what I'm packing. I mean, y'all, so simple. I'm pulling things that I already had out of my closet and keeping it easy for 95 degree heat. And then same thing for my daughter. I went ahead and pulled out some PJs for her. I have a lot of little just tank tops and shorts. I have this little tank dress. These kind of outfits are perfect for Disney in the heat because it's so breathable and airy. And, you know, I just put some biker shorts with it. And then I have a bunch of matching sets. So these are awesome. Just this style, like this idea of a set for Disney. Again, super comfy, really lightweight material. You've got the tank style going on. So anyway, lots of little sets like that. Same thing with this one. It's like a little spaghetti strap 
tank with the matching shorts, several little matching tank and short sets. And then I also have some comfy clothes for when we're back in the room. If you've seen any of my other packing videos, you know this is something I love to do for my daughter is bring some t-shirts and some shorts that she can wear for quiet time. That way she's not wearing like sweaty park clothes in our room to hang out, you know, watch a show, cuddle in bed, you know, you don't wanna be in your sweaty park clothes for that middle of the day. So I love bringing an outfit change for her. And I also pulled out our pool bag. I have a couple of swimsuits in here. I'm gonna grab her little water shoes, cover up, sunscreen, you know, everything else we need for the pool will go in this bag. Coming around here, these are the princess dresses that I am taking for this trip. I always pick one or two princess dresses to put in these garment bags to pack for my daughter. This one is from a shop called Oceana and all of her dresses are custom made and they are just beautiful. This has a big red bow on the back, but the detail is just beautiful. They're so well made. They come with little matching shorts right here. And then this one is from Biddy Bundles of Joy. And this is a great example of why I love using garment bags because this dress is covered in glitter <laughs> and this glitter gets everywhere. So having a garment bag is really nice because it keeps the glitter from getting all over our other things. <laughs> but I just think her dresses from Biddy Bundles of Joy um, are so, so beautiful. Same thing, they have little matching shorts right here. So, well, I'll zip those up later, but <laughs> those are the two princess dresses that I am packing for my daughter. And then this is what my suitcase looks like right now. <laughs> so this actually was not touched since my last Disney trip. I literally just pulled out the suitcase and opened it up and this is what it looks like. <laughs> So all kinds of stuff in here that I need to just really reorganize, but all of this is kind of ready to go for our Disney trip. Even if your Disney trip is like six months to a year from now, you can keep some kind of laundry basket or box or something in your closet to have all things Disney in. That way when it's time to pack, you pull it out and you're ready to go. It just makes it so much easier. So all kinds of stuff. So. I'm gonna go through all of this again and just organize it, but this is my electronics little cable organizer. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but this is what, I actually need to use these things to charge all of our fans and tablets and you know all kinds of things like that. Um, chargers for everything stay really nice and organized right here. I have our mealtime bag. This goes in my park bag. But other than that, again, I don't touch any of this unless we're going to Disney. I have water wipes because a fresh pack of water wipes that I actually just threw in here um, because I'm constantly wiping <laughs> sticky fingers and, you know, chocolate off of my four year old's mouth. Um, what else? All of my rain gear. And I actually have another little packing cube on the way that is gonna be a much better fit. So if you actually saw my updated stroller video, you saw how I mentioned that this, well, it's on this side, I guess, has a handle, which is really nice, but I wanted something that could buckle onto my backpack. That way, when I'm getting on Disney transportation, I could buckle this, be a little more hands-free, buckle this to my backpack. So I'm gonna switch out, this is our rain jackets and my stroller rain cover. So I'm gonna switch all that out and put that in that new packing cube that has a buckle on it that's coming on the way. And this I need to go through and reorganize. I've got all kinds of stuff in here for the parks. I've got glow sticks, I've got stroller accessories, uh, bath toys, we've got liquid IV. I need to restock that right there lollipops, uh, more little coloring activities. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. More glow sticks down here. So all of that is just kind of like random park stuff. I have our little cooler that I attach to our stroller. This is where I'll put my daughter's lunch, water bottles, anything like that. And when we're staying in a DVC studio, I can actually bring an ice pack from home and I can freeze it, which is really, really nice. And then over here, I have a few other things. Our folding step stool. Y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna bring this on this trip. 
Ellie just isn't needing it as much anymore, and she's getting so tall that I can do her hair without her stepping on this. So I don't know, you know, I mean, it adds a couple pounds to the weight of your luggage. So I'm like, mm, should I just leave it this time? But it is really helpful, especially if you have a newly potty trained toddler to just help them feel a little more comfortable in your resort hotel room. This is really, really nice. I also have a few other things for our stroller. My cup holder, I wait to attach this until we get to Disney. And then I've talked about this a few times now, but this is an awesome little tray that sits down into this cup holder. And when you have it, you know, hooked on right, I mean, it's like, it's sturdy on your stroller, but it's so nice to be hands-free if you have a coffee, a donut, you know, whatever, and you wanna push your stroller, you can put the extra little coffee and donut on the tray while you're pushing your stroller. It is seriously incredible. So both of those things, even though they are kind of bulky, <laughs> it is worth packing it, trust me. And then in here, I have, <laughs> snacks left over from our last trip that I am just gonna repack and uh, like we're already good to go in the snack department for our next trip and then this little pouch right here this is what I need to go through and pull out to charge everything so I've got all kinds of different fans my favorite misting fan my stroller fan we've got these cooling towels so all of that I need to just recharge and make sure that is ready to go and then that just goes directly into my park bag so that's where i'm at when it comes to prepping to start packing and i don't think i'm gonna do a full-on packing video for this trip i did recently do like almost an hour-long packing video for disney for our last trip just a few weeks ago so i'll have that one linked down below if you want to see more in depth into the packing process specifically. So go check that video out if you want to see more of what I actually pack and I go into depth with like what makeup I bring and toiletries and more things for my daughter. I go way more in depth in that video. So go check that out. But I'm feeling good for today. Tomorrow, I'm still waiting. I'm like, come on Friday, I can buy my Disney gift cards. We're going to do that tomorrow and I still need to get cash for my private transportation that takes us to and from the airport. And I think that's it. And then of course, you know, finish up packing and everything, um, make sure everything is charged, um, put everything in packing cubes, organize everything I just showed you. But, you know, I think I'm good. I will check back in tomorrow when it's time to go get the gift cards. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> it is finally Friday. So we're off to Kroger to finally go get those gift cards. So that is our first stop. Then we're gonna go to the gym. Then I have an appointment to go get new tires on my car. Then we'll come home for lunch and quiet time. So we have a full morning. Let's go to Kroger and get those Disney gift cards though. <laughs> Okay, I'm back home. It's later in the day. It's just after one o'clock. We ended up going straight to the gym, spent an hour there, and then Andy met us at the gym, dropped his car so that we could ride together to drive up about, oh, it was like 20, 25 minute drive up to go get new tires on my car. And while we were waiting, we went and got lunch and walked over <laughs> across the street to Chick-fil-A and then walked back to pick up my car and now we're home. So it's felt like kind of a, I don't know, chaotic, not chaotic, but just busy morning slash lunchtime. Now we're home. I just put Ellie in her room for quiet time. I'm thinking she will probably fall asleep today because it's been such a go, go, go kind of morning here, but I'm home. So <laughs> I wanted to share more about the gift cards because that was the last thing that I showed was my Disney gift cards at Kroger. So I currently have 8,000 fuel points. And now I can check this off of my Disney to-do list. I have the gift cards, we're ready to go. Now it's really just finishing up packing and kind of the last minute things. So I have our outfits ready to go. I just need to put all of that into packing cubes. I have all of my daughter's like 
airplane activities and stroller accessories and like anything extra that we use in the room. Um, you know, anything for the heat because it's going to be very hot while we're there is ready to go. Uh, everything is like charged up now and yeah, it's really just getting tip for my private transportation for my driver and doing my Amazon grocery order. But other than that, I'm feeling good. We're four days away. Today's Saturday. It is a very rainy, gloomy day. So perfect to knock out some things around the house. I got some laundry going. It's always nice to do that one last load of laundry before, like a few days before travel day. So that way you have everything you need in order to pack. Uh, mostly like socks and underwear is what I was running out of. So I was like, I've got to do laundry so that I can start packing like for real. But one thing I wanted to talk about because I got this question recently someone asked me if I still bring a full-size backpack to the parks now that my daughter is out of like the diaper phase we're not using it as a diaper bag anymore so do I really need a full-size backpack in the parks now let me tell you I've tried I've attempted <laughs> to scale down to our mini size backpack like the mini mini backpack I thought, oh, this will be perfect. My daughter uses this as her personal item when we travel. And I was like, oh, this will be great. We'll use this as our new park bag. And then I put like five things in it and I was like, no, we need, we need the full size backpack. <laughs> so even though we are well past the diaper bag phase of life and what I pack with my daughter looks very different, we still need a full size backpack. So I went ahead just because I wanted to show you what this would look like. I went ahead and packed this as if I was actually heading out for a day in the parks. And y'all, this thing is... <laughs> It's heavy, it's full. Like, I mean, I'll do a close up so you can see like exactly what's inside and how I organize everything. So let me go over how I pack this up for a day in the parks. The first thing I know I mentioned earlier is this pouch right here. This has our cooling towels and our fans. I bring a misting fan, a handheld fan, and a stroller fan. That way we have different options and we can kind of rotate, especially if one um, dies throughout the day and you know we're in the parks, I can pull out another fan. We have a third fan option when I'm there with just me and my daughter. I have two cooling towels in here. I also always make sure to bring some kind of activity for Ellie anytime we're waiting, if we are waiting for the parade and we have like, you know, 15 minutes until the parade starts. I like to have some kind of activity to pull out for my daughter. This is one of those LED coloring tablets. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but really cool. We've used this for years. It's been a hit ever since we got it and you click the button and it erases it. So perfect. And it, obviously takes up like no room in our park bag. So perfect to throw in there. I also have a pouch of sunscreen. So sunscreen for my daughter. I have SPF lip balm, sunscreen for myself. I have a little mini deodorant in here. This pouch will be my best friend this summer and it's basically just gonna live in our park bag and it's gonna be dedicated for park days. That way I always have sunscreen with me and I'm not having to hunt down like, oh, did I put that in our pool bag? Where did that go? Is that in my toiletry bag? Like it's just always in our park bag, ready to go. I also have water wipes in here. Right now, it's a full size pack of water wipes. I know, it seems a bit much, but we're gonna fly through these and I've done the little travel size packs of water wipes and it's just never enough for a full trip. Like, to be honest, it's never enough. So I'm going for the full size pack of water wipes this time. I also have my mealtime bag for my daughter. Now, this pouch I've talked about many times as well, and I love this little mermaid pouch. This is from Amazon. It's from the brand Bumpkins. They have the cutest little travel pouches. They're super affordable. But what I have in here, I actually need to restock some of these, so I'm glad I'm pulling these out. I have these coloring stick on placemats. So they unfold and stick right down to the table, but it also doubles as a coloring sheet. Ellie has loved these coloring sheets since she was a tiny, tiny toddler. They have been amazing. I also keep a little pouch of our own crayons in here. Sometimes when you sit down at a restaurant, they only give you one or two crayons and then that one falls on the floor or it breaks or whatever. You can always ask for another one, but it's nice to have more colors and more options and you just, you never run out of crayons. I also keep a couple of little mini Play-Dohs in here. I also have a little mini spoon and fork. I have a little coloring notebook and this 
not so much lately, like now that my daughter's older, but when she was little, like two years old, like 18 months, two years old, when there's just not a whole lot you can do to keep a two year old like super entertained while you're sitting at a table and it can be, it can just be a little stressful. So pulling out your phone is sometimes, it's what you gotta do. Like just put on a show, and all the rules kind of go out the window. So having this little phone stand has been a lifesaver because I have something where I can set my phone down into and it's propped up well out of my daughter's reach. Again, when she was tiny, we're not so much using this anymore now at like four or four and a half years old, but when she was really little, this was fantastic. And you know what? I just still keep it in here because you never know. <laughs> so that is what is in our mealtime bag. I also keep a bag of snacks in here. I keep this fully stocked. It has more snacks than what we would even need for a few hours at the park, but I would rather have more than what I need than not enough. Same thing with like little treats. I have like little gummies, sugar-free lollipops. Again, stuff that is not normal for here at home, but when you're at Disney, you gotta bend the rules a little bit. You know, lollipops at 10 a.m. just, sometimes it's a thing, so. Last thing in here is this pouch has an extra change of clothes for my daughter and a few other things as well. So even though my daughter's four years old, we're out of our normal routine. And one thing I've found, especially about preschoolers, is that it's so easy for them to get so caught up in how much fun they're having and they're staying busy and there's so much to look at and so much to see that they forget to let you know, hey, I have to go potty. So then when they do let you know, oh my goodness, it's an emergency. And all of a sudden it's like, I have to go potty right now. <laughs> and sometimes they just can't make it. So it's always nice to have a backup change of clothes. I also will keep some flushable wipes in here. I also have extra underwear, of course. I have a Ziploc bag for any soiled underwear and then a little wet dry bag for a change of clothes. Like the dirty clothes can go in here until we're able to get back to the room and I can, you know, kind of wash everything and do what I need to do <laughs> with the, the dirty things. So that is what goes in this pouch. So with all of those things in this bag, I need a full size backpack and I just haven't found it to be like realistic for us to scale down to anything less than a full size backpack. And with this backpack specifically, I really like the insulated cup holders on the side. So even though this is like a stainless steel water bottle and it's gonna keep ice cold water really cold, it is really nice having insulated cup holders on both sides of the backpack, which smaller backpacks don't usually have insulated cup holders. So that's another reason I really like having a full-size backpack. And then of course you have all the exterior storage on the outside with the zipper compartments and there's extra zippers on the back. A lot of reasons why I still enjoy using a full-size backpack as compared to this little mini size one. It just, it wouldn't fit everything I just showed you like at all. So that is how I pack up our park bag. Now I need to actually start packing things into packing cubes. And then I can kind of determine what my suitcase situation is gonna be. I'm thinking I'm gonna go a full-size suitcase and a carry-on suitcase, but check both of them. That worked out really, really well on my last trip. It ended up being the perfect amount of space and I used this little like, I don't know, buckle to clip both of the suitcases together. That way I could push a stroller in one hand and use the other hand to pull both suitcases in one hand. That worked out fantastic. It was so nice and so much easier to be hands-free getting on the airplane. I just had my backpack and my stroller, which I put in the overhead bin and it was amazing just going through the airport, not having to keep up with like a weekender bag or an additional carry-on suitcase on top of, you know, my four-year-old, my backpack, my stroller, you know, which is, it's possible. I've done that many, many times. And I thought, I thought I had it figured out. I thought that was the way to do it. <laughs> but since my last trip, I kind of figured out, oh, checking the carry-on suitcase and just like bundling them together with this buckle clip that I'll show you here in a second is really the way to go. So I'm gonna see how much space I actually need, but I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do.
Okay, I still need to fill up our swim bag and grab my swimsuit, cover up, sandals, uh, my daughter's cover up. I think that's it. I have some extra packing cubes right here, but I'm able to fit all of my daughter's clothes, her pajamas, everything she needs for five nights, six days in one large packing cube. Same thing for myself. This is all of my clothes for six days. The only thing that I need to run downstairs and grab is some pajamas. <laughs> I totally forgot to grab like some t-shirts and shorts, just comfy clothes for back in the room, but I have plenty of room right here that I can put that in. But I'll be able to fit all of my clothes and comfy clothes for back in the room in one large packing cube. And this is the little buckle that I was talking about that holds my suitcases together. So, I mean, this looks like a really basic contraption here. You can obviously tighten it right here and then it buckles right here. You could really use this for anything, but I guess it's designed for suitcases and I just loop this through the handle on the carry-on suitcase and then I loop this through the handle on the full-size suitcase, buckle them together and this thing is tight. Like they are, they're together. Like both suitcases, they're not going anywhere. I can pull on the larger suitcase with one handle and the smaller carry-on suitcase, it just glides right along with it. So this was like, I think six bucks for a pack of two on Amazon and this has made traveling with two suitcases just a breeze. Like, I don't know if I'll ever have a need to go back to having a weekender bag or some kind of duffel bag stacked on top of my suitcase. Like, this is honestly so much easier. So, highly recommend if you're traveling solo and you're trying to figure out, like, how am I gonna carry all of this stuff? And you're like, we have to have two suitcases or, you know, whatever the scenario is, get one of these little clips and you can push it all in one hand or pull it all in one hand. It's so nice. Here's what we're working with. <laughs> and I just need to grab a few more things. So I think adding in the carry-on suitcase is gonna end up being perfect. So both of our packing cubes with, mine is under here, um, our clothes for the week are right there. I have socks and underwear in this little packing cube, all of my stroller rain gear, uh, extra little stroller and you know random things that I showed you earlier in this vlog our little park day cooler and I need to fill up my swim bag still more stroller accessories <laughs> snacks and my daughter's princess dresses and then I just need to grab my toiletry bag and make a bag and we're good to go and shoes but I normally just wear my tennis shoes and then pack my sandals you know, so I'm not taking a ton of extra things, like I'm wearing anything bulky and just packing sandals. So yeah, I think adding in the carry-on suitcase for the last few items is gonna be perfect. And my little electronics case right there. And I think I'm gonna leave the stool, you guys. Oh, it's kind of sad at the thought of leaving it, but I just don't think we need it. And you know, it makes my suitcase a little bit lighter, so. I think, I think the stool is gonna stay behind this time. But yeah, this is about, I think we're like 90% done packing. Like, this is it. Okay, I think that's everything. And if you're wondering like, wow, that actually seems really light. I feel like you're forgetting some things. <laughs> Don't forget my backpack. Like, a lot goes in this backpack and this is my personal item on the plane. So I also have some toys that I pack for my daughter um, on the airplane. This does not come with us to the parks, but I just have all kinds of little toys and activities, more coloring activities, things from the dollar store, stickers, notepads, just all kinds of stuff. It's like her little treasure box. And whenever she gets bored, I let her pick out something out of this little pouch. And this goes in my backpack and then just stays in the room when we go to the parks. So this thing on travel day, it is like, it's a big backpack. It is heavy and it is packed to the brim but that's how I'm able to pack just a little bit lighter in our suitcase. And you know, it's not like busting at the seams because a lot of what I bring goes in our backpack. And then my daughter also brings her backpack. So this is where her tablet, her headphones go. Um, I might even keep the, her snacks in this backpack and any other little coloring activities go in here. Um, I've mentioned this 
um, water wow coloring book a few times. It's Old Testament stories, which is really cool. So I got this off Amazon and I love it. These are some of her favorite Bible stories. There's all kinds of different versions of the Old Testament, New Testament, all different stories. So she really enjoys that. I have a bluey version of it. Um, I have these little princess stickers that she can put on a coloring book. So all kinds of activities and all of that is in her little backpack. And then everything else is either in our suitcase or my backpack, but I think that's it. So it's really just toiletries, my daughter's toiletry bag, which is like basically just her toothbrush and toothpaste and baby shampoo. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you wanna see in more detail all of our toiletries, everything I pack makeup wise for Disney. Go check out that video I posted a few weeks ago. I go way more in depth in that one. It's like an hour long, so go check it out. But I think that's it for today. And if you are not already subscribed and you just stumbled across this video, I'm so glad you hung out with me. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and that way you can be notified when all of the vlogs from this upcoming trip go live. You will not wanna miss those. I'm really, really excited for all the content I have coming up very soon. So thanks again. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this style of like more casual style vlog. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.